Hi everyone. A few months ago, this garage door opener behind me went dead. Lights started flashing, and the um, it just stopped working altogether. Uh, I don't think the motor was broken, so but I couldn't really afford to replace that time. It's actually a third uh, garage door that we don't use a lot. But in the meantime, the primary one that my wife uses went bad, and. I had to replace that one. The motor broke on that one. So this one behind me is a LiftMaster. I replaced it with a Chamberlain, uh, which is basically the same product line. Um, but we were, I was gonna throw away the old LiftMaster that I pulled out. And when I went back and got the new one in, I thought about replacing this one with the same system that I just put in brand new on the other opener. This is the new one I just put in. So after I got the new one working, I thought that maybe I should just replace the circuit board in this one because it didn't really seem like the motor broke. It seemed like it was more electronical. This, you know, the lights were flashing and um, just uncontrollably and kind of the same one that the other one did about a few years ago. So I ordered a new circuit board for the other one um, back then and I'll talk about that a little bit more later. But I thought I'd go ahead and pull out the circuit board out of the system that I was just about to throw away and put it in this one that wasn't working. Okay, what we're gonna to do today is swap out the circuit board on this garage door opener. It stopped working and the light started flashing on and off. So I unplugged it because it was driving me nuts. But we're gonna go ahead and swap out the circuit board. I actually removed that one the other day and replaced the whole unit. So I'm going to, the motor broke on that one. So I'm took, taking the circuit board out of that one, putting it on this one, because they're the same. So the first thing we have to do is remove the back panel. This is the unit that was the donor. The motor on this one broke. So we took the back panel off with the circuit board. So the first thing we want to do is remove the wires. Remember which screws they go on. And then there's four screws in each corner that need to come out. Once those come out, go ahead and remove the panel. And there's going to be a plug on the circuit board. So once you get that out, lift it, swing it up. And you'll see there's a plug right there. I'm going to remove that plug. It's kind of hard. You have to bring that kind of balance it out. Pull one end out and then the other side and kind of walk it out. This is the one we pulled out and notice that it has a purple button. The reason I point that out that this one also has to have a purple button. Actually, they're both purple, you know, that kind of that one's kind of faded. Um, this is actually the old one. This is a new one that I bought for the other one that I replaced a few years ago. And the reason I know the purple is important because the one that I ordered, even though I ordered the right part, came with a red button and my butt, my remote controls wouldn't work. When I called uh, customer service, they said, push the red, the purple button. I said, it's red. And they said, well, you have the wrong part. So what I did, I called Amazon. They told me to reorder the part. 
and that they would get the return label ready. But I reordered the part, I just found the part in my order and say, buy again. And then the customer service rep came on and said, did you order it? And I said, yes. And he goes, okay, I'm sending you a return label. You'll get the new one this afternoon. So that's customer service. I got this new part replaced that same day and plugged it in and it worked fine. So now let's continue with this. We're gonna put this one in. Okay, we're gonna plug the plug into the new one here. Just goes on like a circuit board in a computer, except it's kind of behind the board, so it's hard to see. You can see here where the plug goes on the old board. Okay, my grandson Bo got the plug in, and he's just gonna put it back. And we're gonna put the four screws in and connect the uh, door and safety wires and see if it works. Putting the screws back in. Putting the door wires in. Red and white one goes on the left, black and white one goes on the right, and two white ones are together in the middle. Last thing we do here is plug it in. Yeah. Okay, we got light. Let's see if it's going to work. Okay, we got our sensors, emergency sensors are on. Door buttons on. Let's go ahead and push the. Uh, It. What we're gonna do is lift the door until it engages on the on the travel guide. Okay. And got a spider web on me. Well, that worked. So I actually bought the new one of these things on Amazon, believe it or not. What you want to do is make sure your serial number, your part number is correct when you order. And um, again, make sure your color for the button when it comes out is the same. And otherwise they're identical. Uh, this one actually did work on the other one, but the remote controls didn't work. So it did have to have the purple button. Um, so you can get these on Amazon. I think it was about $100. Um, so if you have questions, go ahead and post it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.